Hey guys and welcome to this video. In this video we'll be proving the theorem that states that if two triangles are equiangular then their sides are in proportion. So we're going to take this from question 10 from the May to June 2019 paper. So 10.1 states that in the diagram triangle ABC and triangle DEF are drawn such that angle A is equal to angle D Angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F. So you have to use the diagram in the answer book to prove the theorem which states that if two triangles are equiangular then the corresponding sides are in proportion. So that means that the length of AB over DE is equal to the length of AC over DF. Okay so when we see since we know that this is what we have to prove. When you see proportions like this, it should remind you of when we have a triangle and a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle. So let's say this triangle was A, B, C, and let's say we just have M and N, and then this line M, N is parallel to B, C. Then we can go ahead and say that the length of A, B over the length of A, M is equal to the length of A, C over the length of a n. So if you look at the structure of this, it's the exact same structure that we have here that we have to prove. So this is the idea that we're going to use to prove this theorem. We're going to have to construct a line and show that that line is parallel to one side of the triangle and use the line being parallel to one side of the triangle theorem to really prove this theorem. Okay, let's start. So what we're going to do is we're first going to draw a point and I'm just going to go ahead and call this M. And then always make sure you write down any constructions that you make. So construction, we are going to draw M on AB. Okay, so we're drawing this point M on AB, but we're drawing it in such a way that AM is equal to DE. So such that... Then we're also going to draw another point on this line AC. We're going to draw the point, let's say N. And we're also going to draw it in such a way that the length of AN is equal to the length of DF. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and just join MN. So we're going to join that and there we go. So now we have a triangle and we have a line inside this triangle. So remember the idea that we're using, we're using that if we have a triangle and there's a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle. But as we can see right now, this line is not parallel to BC. So that's going to be our main focus. We're going to try and show that this line is parallel to BC. Now, when you want to prove that lines are parallel, we can use fun angles to do this. But we will not use co-interior angles and the reason why is because co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees and we don't actually have numbers in these angles. So we're really only going to focus on either corresponding angles or alternate angles. But looking at this diagram, if we wanted alternate angles and we know that we want MN and BC to be parallel, we would lead this line to at least extend so that we can form a Z or Z this way. But since we don't have this line extending, we can go ahead and focus on corresponding angles instead. So if we can find corresponding angles, okay, using these two lines as parallel lines, then it will show that MN is parallel to BC. So if you look at it like that, if we draw an upside down F, then here we go, we have corresponding angles. So if we can show that angle B is equal to angle AMN, this angle over here, then it will prove that these two lines are parallel. That's what we're trying to do, prove these lines are parallel. Okay, so to, in order to find out that these two angles are actually equal to each other, we are going to work with these two triangles. We're going to work with the triangle AMN and the triangle DEF. So we're going to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So we're taking the triangle, so we're saying in triangle AMN, 
and triangle DEF. Let's look at the things that are equal in these triangles. So first of all, we have angle A being equal to angle D because this was given. So we can go ahead and say that angle A is equal to angle D and it's because it's given. The next thing that we can see that are equal in these two triangles is the line AM being equal to the line DE. So we can go ahead and say that, that AM is equal to DE. And our reason for this is, remember, we constructed M in such a way that AM was equal to DE. So our reason is by construction. Okay, and then we also have the line AN being equal to DF. So we can go ahead and say AN is equal to DF. And the reason for that was also by construction because we also constructed N in a way that AN was equal to DF. And since we have three things being equal, an angle and two sides, we can therefore say that triangle AMN is congruent to triangle DEF. And our reason is because we have two sides being equal and one angle, so side side angle. Okay, so now that we have these two triangles being congruent, remember congruency just means that if we have two triangles being congruent, it means that all their corresponding angles and sides are also equal. So we already knew that angle A was equal to angle D, but now this will mean that this angle, angle AMN, is equal to the angle, angle E. So we can go ahead and say, so this therefore means that angle AMN is equal to angle E. And the reason we're trying to show them now these two angles are equal. Here's the reason. Now you'll see why we're doing this and how we're going to make MN be parallel to BC. Remember that when we started this, we were already given that the angle B was equal to the angle E. Okay, so we're going to sell them, but we already knew that angle B was equal to angle E. So since we already knew that these two angles were already equal, and now we found out that this angle is equal to angle E, then that would mean that this angle over here is equal to angle B. So angle AMN is equal to angle B. And so if you look at it like that now, we can see that this draws an upside down F. So we have corresponding angles over here. So therefore, okay, so now that we have that, these two lines are parallel because of corresponding angles. So line MN is parallel to BC. And the reason for that is corresponding angles. Now that we have this line being parallel to BC, we can go ahead and use the proportionality theorem on this diagram. So remember, what you are required to prove is that AB over DE, okay? But in this diagram, we can go ahead and say that AB over AM, okay, is equal to AC over AN, okay? So we're saying AB over AM is equal to AC over AN. And the reason that we can use for these proportions being equal is we have a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle. So that's what we're saying. Line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle. For we're going to look at the length of AM and let's see. So we have AM and then this is DE. Well, we already drew them in a way that they were equal. So we can go ahead and replace where we see AM with DE. We have now AB over, and then in place of AM, we're going to say DE is equal to AC over, and when we see AN, we're going to replace that since we know that AN is equal to DF, we replace that with DF, that's over DF, okay? And that's how we prove that theorem.